for me personally, it kind of just bored of Infinite now. Um, I, I just, I want to see what comes next. Oh yeah, I totally agree with that. Like, I mean, I've definitely put my fair share in. I think I'm at like 900, 800 hours into Halo Infinite at the moment. Like, yep, I'll jump in and play the new season stuff just because it's new and fun. Like, Firefight's really fun within the game as well. Uh, the new map, like you mentioned, is really cool. Illusion is like, finally, like a fun, like social map to finally have in Halo Infinite. It has some, yeah. some kind of interesting, unique aspect to it that really makes it stand out besides just having been like, another three lane map that's like relatively balanced all right you know kind of thing yeah you know, like i mentioned about like the sh it's kind of like a shop update for the most part like for how much content was tied behind the shop and something you can't really earn in game anymore especially with like the all the the ballot passes have been removed you can't earn credits within the game by just playing to then potentially spend within the shop to get that armor set you really want or something like that. It's just, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy how little in this game is actually earnable by playing the game. Is I, I still find it just insane. Like we, in a franchise like Halo, that since 2007 has been renowned for actual gameplay related unlocks and achievement and challenge and commendation and even in some cases skill related unlocks, and now we basically have none of that it's just like gives you credit card details or nothing like you get very and it's even worse with the operation passes like at least with um the battle passes there was like i wouldn't say there was anywhere near enough armor to unlock in the battle passes but there was a lot more than there is now now it's like one helmet one set of shoulders one chest piece and a few other things and that is literally it everything else is in the store and like you said now that there aren't battle passes with credits in them to earn you literally cannot earn them by playing the game at all like at least with credits in the battle pass you if you finish like all the battle passes you could maybe buy one bundle by playing the game if you were lucky you could buy one bundle i think technically but with this like nah nothing it's just all credit card or nothing and from like a per, like a, pure, a purely business standpoint, I kind of get it now because it's obvious that three four three are shifting focus like away from Infinite now. Like Infinite is not the whole thing they're focused on now. It's very clear that there's like other things going on there. Um, so I, I get it. They're kind of just like right. So we're not going to be doing any major updates. We may as well just get as much money out of it as possible, which is fair. It's what it is what it is. It's a business, but I don't know. It's just annoying that what 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 gets me with it is that Infinite's art style for the Spartans. Chimera aside, because like core is absolutely atrocious, but the rest of them, absolutely spectacular. Like genuinely some of my favorite armor in the entire franchise, including some of the bungee stuff. Um, and it's it's all like it's soured because it's locked behind a paywall. Like I look at some of the Mark IV stuff and it looks absolutely incredible. Like some of the the, the Omega team stuff in particular is just like like incredible, <laughs> absolutely incredible. But like I, I don't know for, for me, and I know a lot of other people think, think this this way as well half of the soul of a of an unlock is how you unlock it like for me like i love i love hayabusa and katana in particular in halo 3 right katana in particular let's talk about that i love katana how it looks but part of the soul of katana is the journey that you go through getting a thousand gamer score to unlock it right same with security same with like any other achievement basing same with eod same with getting recon during vidmasters it was part of part of the soul and the identity of the armor piece is how you got it and that's just not a thing anymore. That's just been eroded. Like the how you got it is you whip out the credit card and you put the three digits in the back and into the shop and that's it. Like, I don't know. It just makes everything, even if it looks incredible, like most of Infinite stuff does, it just makes it feel soulless. Yeah, I pretty much agree, agree with that one. Like I think I remember, I watched your video by it saying that was it like 80 or close to 90% of the customization that's available with this content update is tied behind the store. And it's like, man, like, Again, like you just you're we're just losing so much going to this operation model. Like I get it, maybe you get a chance to get more content more frequently when it comes to like stuff you can do within the game, like maps and stuff. Losing that aspect of like being able to earn the stuff within the game. Like even within Call of Duty, like you still earn creds within the battle pass. You can just spend within the shop. Like I've done it, ground my way up to earn a few credits, spend it in the shop and get some interesting customization that you couldn't really get any other kind of way. And I get that. But there's still ways you can like unlock things within the game and now you only get like uh, armor set that's fine but then we're kind of running back into the issue that we had even with like the fracture cores right where uh th they would launch and you'd have like just enough to get like a some customization but then there's nothing really filled out about it so then like when you're wearing mark four you either have like one helmet or no chest pieces to choose from no wrist attachments or anything like that so it's just kind of like you end up just looking like everybody else which kind of loses the fun of customization is trying to make yourself 
being more individualistic in the whole thing. That which helps with crosscore, but there still is are those limitations. Yeah, definitely. And they still like, like, if, for example, if you like the aesthetic of a core, but all of the stuff, like, for example, I think it was, um, was it Eagle Strike where a significant amount was locked behind the store, more so than like the other two fracture ones as well. Hmm. Like, if you like the aesthetic of Eagle Strike, you have no choice but to like pay money if you want most of it. Like, there's it's just, you can't, you can't get most of the Eagle Strike specific armor unless you pay. Yeah, I don't know, man. It sucks. Like, uh, but like, at, at the end of the day, this it's, might sound weird, but like, if this is what it takes for us to like move on and start moving to like the next game, then I'll, I'll take it. Cause I don't know. I, I, I just really want to move on to what's next now. I, like infinite now is running up to being three years old. I, mm. I want to start moving on at this point. Um, I still think halo games, not mainline games, but halo games in general should be on a three year cadence. I think three years is absolutely fine. Like first two years, you can enjoy the game, but like by the third year, I feel like you're starting to be like, right. Okay. I, I'm kind of want to, play something else now and I, i'm really hoping that like we we do start to move on sooner rather than later uh actually you mentioned since you mentioned about the chimera core uh in there i don't know if you've seen the leaks of the the new armor set that's coming oh, with the cyber showdown three. God, oh my <laughs> bro you know what's wild right that's coming in the same update as mark four how 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 in, in what plane of existence are those two sets of armor designed for the same update. How are they designed for the same IP? I truly don't get it. Like, I, I honestly, it makes Seeker look like Halo 3 Recon. I, I don't <laughs> understand how it's that, like, and I could at least see, like, I don't like, like, not, I'd say 95% of Gen 2 stuff I think just looks ugly. But, like, I can see how Gen 2, how people could say that, yeah, Gen 2 looks like Halo armor. It looks like it fits in the Mjolnir aesthetic. I could see how people could say that. I genuinely can't see how anyone could look at like that, that especially that brand new chimera armor and think like yeah this this looks like it belongs in the halo aesthetic this looks like something the halo aesthetic would, would create I, I just i don't get it man I, I, it looks it, i don't know what it looks like I don't, i'm lost yeah. for words to be honest yeah i'm kind of on the same boat with that one too because i mean it's also been basically financially proven right when they brought in the classic ce armor set right sold like crazy i think about halo at the top 10 i think for sure at least top five even of most sold it games like top three i think yeah. it was like third wasn't it, it was yeah. ridiculous like that yeah yeah and like it's, it's proof that people just want halo like they don't want like weird spin-off weird looking things that are supposed to maybe expand the art style to get more people interested in the game like no they just they want halo give us yeah. halo and then when the mark IV came in we were almost super excited but then like i said having most like customization tied behind the shop was just like man ah that hurts a little bit yeah. right there. And then we do have Spartan points coming in. So maybe they'd be generous to let us be able to use Spartan points in the shop, the grind through or something like that. But I doubt it. I will be absolutely blown away if they make it anywhere near the shop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Blown away. I think also kind of what you agree with you on the saying, like kind of just looking forward to what's coming next when it comes to that, just Halo in general.